Megan's court case find out decision by judge delivers. The judge will deliver his ruling on Thursday. The Duchess of Sussex is due to find out on Thursday whether she has succeeded in a bid to have parts of a privacy claim against Associated Newspapers. Limited, ANL, over its publication of a letter she wrote to her father resolved without having to go to trial. Megan is suing ANL, publishers of Mail Online and Mail on Sunday, for breach of copyright, infringement of her privacy, and breaches of the Data Protection Act over articles which showed parts of a letter she had written to her father, Thomas Markell, in August 2018. At the last remote court hearing in January, Meghan's legal team said ANL had no prospect of defending her privacy and copyright claim, and described the publication of the letter as a triple-barreled invasion of her privacy rights. However, ANL claimed Meghan wrote the letter with a view to it being disclosed publicly at some future point in order to defend her against charges of being an uncaring or unloving daughter. The publisher's lawyers argued the case was wholly unsuitable for summary judgment. If the summary judgment is not granted, the case is set to go to trial. It's likely that Meghan and her estranged father Thomas would come face to face in court. And royal aides, past and present, could be called to testify. A full trial had originally been due to take place at the High Court in January. But last year the case was adjourned until autumn 2021 for a confidential reason. Justice Warby will deliver his ruling at 4pm on Thursday. On the 1st of February, the Duke of Sussex accepted an apology and substantial damages from ANL over baseless, false and defamatory allegations that he snubbed the Royal Marines after stepping down as a senior royal. A spokesman for Prince Harry at the time said that he is personally donating the damages from the case to the Invictus Games Foundation. The High Court in London may rule on Meghan's request to have a privacy case against Associated Newspapers settled without a full trial. Meghan could soon find out if she might one day face her dad across a London courtroom. Meghan is suing the Mail on Sunday's publishers Associated Newspapers for invasion of privacy infringement of data protection rights and copyright infringement for printing extracts of what her lawyers describe as a private and confidential letter sent to her father, Thomas in August 2018 three months after her wedding to Prince Harry. On the 19th of January, Meghan applied to have the case decided by a summary judgment a legal step, which would see her claim resolved by a judge's ruling as opposed to a full trial. During a remote hearing at the High Court in London, where a previously unpublished line from the five-page letter she sent her father was read aloud. I ask for nothing other than peace and I wish the same for you. On Thursday afternoon in London, the Duchess of Sussex may find out if her application has been successful. Should Judge Justice War be a rule in Meghan's favour, then the outcome of the case will hinge on his private legal deliberations. Meaning that her friends, family, and former Kensington Palace staff will not have to testify in court. If the application fails, then the exact opposite happens, opening up the possibility that Meghan may find herself sitting in London's High Court opposite her father, Thomas Markell, in the fall of 2021. The case was originally slated to begin on the 11th of January, but it was pushed back after Meghan successfully bid to have the proceedings delayed. Last October, Justice Walby stated that his ruling was based on confidential grounds submitted by Meghan's legal team during a closed hearing. To further complicate matters, the exact nature of Justice Warby's Thursday ruling is currently a closely guarded secret. Theoretically, he could decide to go one step further and rule on certain elements of the case. Alternatively, he could simply decide to postpone his ruling on the summary judgment to a later date. The announcement is the latest stage in Meghan's case against Associated Newspapers, which first began in September 2019. During the summary judgment hearing in January, Meghan's attorney, Justin Rushbrook, argued that Meghan's letter to her father was intrinsically private, personal, and sensitive and that printing extracts of the letter constituted a triple-barreled invasion of her privacy rights. It was a heartfelt plea from an anguished daughter to her father, Rushbrook added. In response, Anthony White, representing Associated Newspapers, described Meghan's litigation as wholly unsuitable for summary judgment in a written submission. White added that there were a number of significant factual matters, 
which needed to be investigated at trial in relation to the circumstances in which the letter was written, and the extent to which she had disclosed information about the letter with a view to publication. There are now on the record a number of inconsistent statements made by her that she will need to explain, he continued. On the 1st of February, Meghan's husband, Prince Harry, received substantial damages from associated newspapers over claims that he turned his back on the British Armed Forces after stepping away from frontline royal duties in March 2020. A remote hearing at the High Court in London heard that associated newspapers accepted the claims made in two almost identical articles published in October 2020 were false. Today, the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online publicly admitted in open court that they pushed a completely false and defamatory story, a spokesman for the Duke of Sussex said in a statement. They've apologized for questioning the Duke of Sussex's commitment to the Royal Marines and British Armed Forces. The truth is that the Duke's commitment to the military community is unquestionable. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.